Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider, and we are back with another video, and, oh boy, Kevin Smith, come on man, come on, you can you can do better than this. For those of you who don't know what's going on, uh, a while back, Keenan and Geeky Sparkles, also known as the people who run Clownfish TV, came out and they had insider info coming from someone uh, who was apparently inside... Uh, Whoever it is that's making, I believe it's either, I believe it's Netflix, who's making a new continuation of the He-Man series, which in my opinion, why didn't they, why didn't they just get the people who originally did it? <laughs> just like, you know, at least most of them, and then get someone like-minded and just continue on from there. But no, we couldn't do that. What happens is uh, we get Kevin Smith to come in on it. And <clears throat> what happened was, well, we'll just jump right here into bounding into comments. A new report details that Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe Revelation animated series, slated to arrive on Netflix, will sideline He-Man in favor of Tila. The report comes from Screen Rant, who detailed the show will pick up where the original 1980s He-Man and the Masters of the Universe series left off. However... They note one major difference is that though He-Man will certainly be around, he won't be the main protagonist anymore. Instead, the focus will be on Tila. Because, you know, current year crap, we have to emasculate the man as much as possible. We can't have good, strong male protagonists. We've just got to... We've got to do away with those and do nothing but... F and, you know, take away... Take all the men out... And do nothing but female. So now we're running Tila instead of He-Man. Which why is why is it being called He-Man at that point? Is my is my question to Kevin Smith. Now I'll probably tweet this to them. Hey, if this is true, man, why is it being called a He-Man? Why isn't it called Tila and the Masters of the Universe? <laughs> or the Mamsters of the Universe. Anywho. They add, even so, He-Man should still have a large presence since the series never did get to explore the final battle between He-Man and his greatest enemy, Skeletor. Well, you know what? Mark Hamill had a... Luke Skywalker had a pretty good presence in, what was it, The Last Jedi? And it still sucked ass. So I don't, I don't know how y'all going to go through... I don't know how y'all going to fix this one up. <clears throat> this report contrasts Smith's own words after he responded to a rumor from Clownfish TV in March that detailed He-Man would step aside and Tila and her girlfriend, which was not a thing in the original series, would take over hero duties. Here's the thing. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna harp at Browning into comics real quick. Uh they hadn't they claimed they had an insider. So I mean as far as rumors go, it was a pretty dang accurate rumor. Here's from Clownfish TV's original tweet. My understanding of Kevin Smith's He-Man series from the alleged insider. Tila is a better He-Man than Adam, and he steps aside to let her and her girlfriend take over here. Because you know what? They're, they're just the bestest He-Mans ever. And, and, and Tila's got the bestest girlfriend ever for everies. He's stupid. And yeah, if true, this won't play well. No, it would not play well. <laughs> Are you kidding? Have you not seen how the Shira show was resp was responded to? Okay, by old fans, it's amazing to me. We can't we can't go back there and just you know listen to the old fans and go there. We got to try and make new fans. And if you're gonna make new fans, you might as well just leave the old properties alone, let the old fans have them, and make new shit instead of trying to trash old shit. Anyway. Smith would respond to this rumor, writing on Twitter as showrunner. I really could have used these story suggestions before we locked the scripts. Now, mind you, Clownfish TV up here did not make a video on this. They simply put out a tweet that this was a possibility. Okay? It wasn't something that they, and I believe even Keenan said in one of his videos, he said it wasn't even something that him and Geeky thought it was worth mentioning in a video. They just kind of threw it out there on a tweet, and Kevin Smith just had to respond to it. Freaking battery's getting low. <laughs> I gotta hurry up and get this video over. He added, however, no, He-Man does not 
does no stepping aside, and Tila has no girlfriend in our show. He concluded, The storyline is pretty dark and way metal. Before Revelation, we were calling it End of the Universe. Now, I have a problem with this because we're, we're doing this with everything. we got to make everything dark and brooding. And uh, why, why can't we have just, you know, fun, lighthearted shows? <clears throat> um, we can't do good, fun TV shows like back in the 80s because, I don't know, we have a generation that's grown up on Steven Universe. And horror, and all this other bullshit that's come out, man. It's just, man. When I when I grew up with with uh, heroes in TV, they there was a lot more stuff going on. Uh, one one major major example was when that kind of that kind of shaped me as a man was when Beast from X Men got put in jail for a crime he didn't commit. And they were like, we can bust you out. And he bends the bars and lets his lets his fellow X-Men out. And he says, if I do, he said, I don't prove that I'm innocent. He said, I will face the justice. He said, I'll face the justice system no matter how no matter how difficult it is. He said, no, I'll, he said, and I'm innocent and I can prove my innocence. He would rather face justice. He could have easily escaped. I mean, Beast bends the freaking steel bars apart. It's not like he couldn't break out. But he's basically telling them, he said, look, I'm going to stay here no matter what. I'm going to face the justice system, and I'm going to prove the system is right. He said, if I leave, I'm only going to prove to those people that I am guilty. And I'm not. And that, those were episodes back in those days that really made you think, because it was based on the old system of, there is a moral story to this show. We don't get moral stories to shows anymore. We get some kids screaming in a broken voice who can't, who can't socially function properly and acts like a spastic kid all the time. Smith, anyway, continuing on. Smith would then claim that Clamfish TV was posting Fox Insider info. Um, so it got, it was apparently so right that you had to say it was fake. Now, here's the thing. If you, if it wasn't important, I kind of go back to the never ending story, you know, where Trey is looking at the, what is it? Is it the turtle or the wolf? I can't remember which one it is. But he tell, but he's like, tell me. And the, one of them, and they say, well, it doesn't matter. And he said, if it really didn't matter, you would tell me. If it really was Fox Info, you would just Kevin Smith would have shut up. That's that's why I kind of got kind of looked at this and I was like, oh, this is going to be bad because <clears throat> because when you come out there and you start trying to you know correct the information. The best thing that Kevin Smith could have done, if this is not true, is just shut up, let Clownfish TV get done, and then have your laugh after you've after they've been proven wrong. But no, you got to make a big deal out of this nonsense. Also, clown, a real Clownfish TV. Instead of posting your Fox Insider info, here's a real story. At Mattel made a behind-the-scenes video featuring our actors recording. So a fan took some of Mark and Lena's dialogue and spliced them into old filmation clips. Look, basically trying to make as much, uh, pretty much try, trying to do the old, you know, push aside. Look, here's this shiny object over here. This is what we want you to look at. Don't realize that we just completely screwed up the entire He-Man universe. By the way, like he said, the script is locked. <laughs> But anyway, <clears throat> however, when Master of the Universe Revelation was announced at PowerCon 2019, the initial description hinted that T-Love would take over hero duties. Hmm. That description was shared, was shared to Twitter by Pixel Dan. A radical return to Asteria. Revelation is a direct sequel series to the classic era of Masters of the Universe. Featuring fan favorites He-Man, Auric, Cringe, and Man-at-Arms, the story pits our heroic warriors and guardians of Castle Grayskull against Skeletor, Evil Lind, Beast Man, and the vile legions of Snake Mountain. But, <clears throat> after a ferocious and final battle, forever, after a ferocious final battle, forever, forever fractures Eternia, it's up to Tila to solve the mystery of the missing sword of power in a race against time to prevent the end of the universe. Her journey will uncover the secrets of 
Grayskull at last. This is the epic He-Man and Masters of the Universe saga fans have waited 35 years to see. No, no it's not. No, it's not. We're sending Tila in to do something that probably Adam should be doing. We can't have this as a story of, you know, maybe Adam, you know, kind of doubts himself or something like that, and he loses the sword, and he's got to learn that he's he's strong even without it. We can't have that. No, no, no. She's going to go in there and do all this nonsense. <clears throat> and Adam is pretty much going to be sidelined, because without the power sword, he's not He-Man. So He-Man is absolutely sidelined in this entire series. You've just admitted that by saying, oh, you know, we, we, we've got to find the, the, the power sword or the sword of power here in a race against time. We've got to find the missing sword of power. Well, you know what? That is what turns Adam into He-Man. So you, you've kind of, you've, you've done that. You've sidelined He-Man for someone else. And why is she going? Let's, let's send Adam to go do it with Man-at-Arms backing him up. Okay? Nope, can't do that. Ah, boy. This is not what we've been waiting to see, promise you. Clownfish TV responded to this new report. <laughs> Netflix, gotcha. Yeah. Giggy Sparkle states, If you're so worried that this isn't true or some or people are going to get upset that you have to go out and smack down a tweet to the level that they did, and then it turns out, more information comes out to back this up. She continued, maybe maybe not do it in the first place if you know the fans aren't going to like it. Keenan adds, no, that makes too much sense. That makes too much sense. Yeah, it does. It makes too much sense. They'll just not do something that the fans would hate. Oh, you have one job. One job. After all the drama, it turns out we were probably right. Keenan adds. <laughs> well, Oh, well, your ear. Let me let me tell you something. Yeah, Tila's Tila may not have a girlfriend in this, but it's definitely pro woman and slay queen and all this. Not she's probably going to turn into she ma'am in this. She's going to get the sword of power. She's going to become she ma'am, and Adam's going to be like, "Wow, Tila, gosh, golly, uh, you're just a better you. You actually beat Skeletor." Uh, with the power sword, I could never do that. It, it'll be Superman cuckery in the Supergirl series all over again. No, I was at full power, Kara, and you beat me. You're better than me. And all this bullshit. So much bullshit. That's all this is going to become. And and no one's going to like it, and you're going to ruin another franchise. And guess what? <clears throat> this time, it'll be Kevin Smith. Who becomes Roundhead Ryan Johnson? Okay, that's what's gonna happen. But anyway, folks, tell me what you think in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notification if you're new to the channel. And as always, keep you on the swivel, stay frosty, and I will see you guys in the next video.